Hi guys, we are Mike and Naga. We are back with another Jesse from the 50s. We picked this dresser up for free uh, a couple of days ago. It's really badly damaged. It's got a lot of small damages all the way around and missing hardware. There's a big piece missing from the drawer. Damage, more damages. Both sides are damaged. All the buttons. It's not only one here, it's uh, like layers of plywood missing as well. Same on this one. Back is pretty much. I mean, the bottom is pretty much gone. Same on the side. Even the top is damaged. There's a maker's mark. But the part that actually says what what's the maker is missing. So no idea. I found one knob in the drawer. So yeah, we don't know what the plan is. Uh, like last time we're going to work out as we go. And hopefully we can do something decent. Let's go. We just finished summing everything and apparently we are dealing with cherry wood today. I don't know if you can tell because of the sun. I just wiped the draw the everything that we're planning on staining um, wet and it turned red straight away. So yeah, this is I just sanded this with 220 and I didn't wipe it with wet cloth. I'm just gonna dry wipe it and leave it like that. Uh, I need to stand this. But yeah, never, never seen anything like this. So this is pretty cool that we that you know we learn something new every day. And because I'm not sure how the wood is gonna react with stain, um, we are going dark today. We'll be using this coffee gel stain by Minwax, and we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed. Never done this. So the staining didn't really go well today. <laughs> it's, it's the first time um, trying gel, gel stain. So I watched a video on how to use it and it seemed to be pretty easy. And I think it is pretty easy, but the issue is the temperature. Um, I was supposed to apply it with a sponge or, or a cloth and leave it for two to three minutes to soak it in, to, for the wood to soak the stain and then wipe it off. And I think it's just way too hot and by the time I went to wipe it, the, the stain was dry already, so so that didn't work. And I tried to save it with like another layer of um, stain, but it just looked really, really blotchy. So we are gonna leave it to dry and either sand it tomorrow and restain it or just paint over. Not sure yet. I'm kind of tired with this and angry at this today. <laughs> So we'll see tomorrow, I think. All I'm gonna do today is just um, mask the drawers. And that's it. And yeah, this is the only drawer that worked out. And these two didn't, so yeah. We'll see tomorrow, what's the plan. It's day two, uh, we just finished sanding everything down again. Uh, we're going to apply, Aga is going to apply the stain. We've thinned it out using lacquer thinner. Um, so it's a bit more runny now, but hopefully it's gonna be less blotchy. We just finished restaining and it was a success. It makes me so happy because I thought we were gonna have to repaint the whole thing and I didn't want that. So the thinning, I did some research yesterday. As Mike said, we thinned out the um, gel stain with lacquer thinner and that helped a lot and also it's like i don't even know if it's 8 a.m maybe just past 8 8 a.m so it's not that hot and those two things seem to really help and yeah we're just gonna wait until it dries and we are ready to paint gonna mask it off and paint
Thanks for watching guys, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Once again, we had unexpected problems with the dresser. This time it was the stain. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we figured it out. Like this is something we learned, something new we learned again. So we know for the future, and I'm glad we were able to restain it. And it wasn't actually too bad. Um, something yet in the morning when it was dry. It took us maybe like 15 minutes to get a, the thickest coat, and then just finish with all the other grits to make it smooth and restain. So yeah, we managed to save it, which is good. And Mike did a great job of rebuilding that corner on, the, on one of the drawers. You cannot really tell, so that's not a plus. <laughs> I actually forgot that they did. <laughs> yeah, and those applications bond though is great because mm -hmm. wood filler would just break off yeah. in minutes. Yeah, it would hold. We got this dresser for free on the marketplace a few weeks back. The materials were about 20 bucks uh, since we had to sand everything and restain again. Uh, it took us about eight to nine hours to complete and we're going to post it for about three hundred and twenty dollars on the marketplace we weren't sure what color what um what paint we should go with and i was thinking white off-white or green but we decided to go bold and we'll see <laughs> we'll see if it's gonna sell or no and yeah fingers crossed it's gonna go fast but you never know to be honest so <laughs> thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one bye, bye.